students so for this week question difference between solution release strain and gel release strain i'm pretty new to this safe area however i would like to give a try and i'm looking forward for your answers as well solution release strain it is a complex embedded system what i could at least observe based on the theoretical knowledge so if we are if you want to say in a layman term a gel release train is a kind of state governments okay where we are all delivering something to others or adding value solution release train is the one which is acting like a central government getting all the information connecting with so many branches it's not just with few areas like similarly solution train also connecting with various departments various multiple things okay so that is how it is acting up it is a it is a solution complex solutions and an embedded system so okay so solution train is an organizational construct used to build large and complex solutions that requires coordination of multiple arts that is how, this is how, this is where i am relating multiple arts so called states multiple states they are working and few things they are getting alignment on this multiple things and embedding these things and they are delivering as a central level right this is how i am also connecting this dots so, so coordination of multiple arts as well as the contribution of supplies so, it aligns art with the shared business and technology mission using the solution vision backlog and road map and an aligned product increment another one example if i want to say say for an example a big mncs they will be having the mission vision for everywhere it's one however they are operating from multiple places right multiple countries multiple places so this also another one layman example at least as per my knowledge i am understanding okay so art is again align teams to a shared business and technology mission that plans commits deploys together that is so called art okay if i want to uh, say some specific examples or not examples difference so in solution train um, it is like thousands thousands uh, even hundreds and thousands of people will work but in arts every art will be having 50 to 125 people at the max so all the arts together reports of works for the solution okay both are like fixed cadence but in solution train we we are having post to pi planning pre pi planning okay but in arts it's pi planning that's it and in solution train it is a solution demo when we are using this sprint review in solution train it is a, it is a solution demo but in system it is a, uh, sorry it is a, in art it is a system demo okay so your new solution increment every pi in system in solution train but in art a new system increment every two weeks every two weeks we will be delivering something to the uh, some increment we will be doing it okay and uh, another words if i want to differentiate between solution train and art is that uh, solution trains follows a conventional safe product increment and product backlog are aligned within the combination of multiple arts in solution train okay PO decides a cadence and schedule release cycle. PI planning that means this is working on an agile economic framework. Solution train this is all something differentiating from agile release train. Agile economic framework they are working with lean budget, epic level funding is planning and job sequencing, decentralized planning. It's not the centralized planning. It is catered and decentralized planning in solution training. And in addition to that, since it is at a higher level, we are getting more arts. Out of that arts, we are making this solution, right? So regulatory standards are high. So that regulatory stuff, they are ensuring a lot because of this standards prioritized high quality they are emphasizing and ensuring so high quality release solutions we can expect in the solution train and it's a little bit challenging okay 
Art is again simple. Na? Solution train contains multiple art. So every art will be having 50 to 125 members as working. So in a nutshell, the solution train is a perfect uh, place for developing complex uh, structural solutions. Once the product owner aligns the solution train multiple uh, with multiple arts, uh, we, we will be delivering complex structure. All release plans comes under the safe roof once it got aligned with the agile release train engineers or agile release trains. Okay. Now and again after this alignment it's just we want to fix or adjust the product goal based on the unique product vision. If suppose some product is having some different vision. So based on that we have to align on the product goals. Okay. So not, not much. So yeah and uh, the entire process is flexible and changeable we don't want to stick again agile is uh, flexible and we can we should welcome changes all the time we should adapt changes right so this is also work in that same way hope i covered somehow thank you hi for today's question uh difference between agile release train and a solution uh, uh train uh let's start with the art or agile release train uh so the size of the teams is somewhere between 5 to 15. Uh, the number of people uh, translates to 50 to 125 people. Uh, all of these teams come together to uh, commit to a vision statement. Uh, they develop, deploy, uh, everything is done together. Uh, so what I mean by that is at the end of the uh, iteration, the PI planning, uh, once the PI is executed, it needs to be integrated and it should come together and form uh, one uh, outcome, one increment out of that uh, this whole uh, art. Uh, speaking about the attributes of the teams, uh, the teams are cross-functional. So whatever they need within uh, the team, they should be able to uh, develop software. They should be able to work on hardware, firmware, whatever it is that require. They should be able to define, uh, implement, uh, test, deploy and release within the team itself so that's the level of uh, cross functionality that uh, that should be uh, there within the team uh, this should be delivering uh, a continuous value uh, to the custom so that's all about the art speaking about the roles within an art uh, to start with there is an rte who is the release train engineer uh, basically he's the scrum master uh, for the scrum masters who are working with the individual teams uh, the next is product management who would be cascading and deciding what needs to be built and uh, uh, they, they would basically cascade the vision statement. Next is the system architect or the product engineering teams wherein uh, they would be uh, giving out the best practices, the standards, uh, the overall system architecture would be communicated how we want to uh, build this uh, uh, architecture. Uh, last is the business owners and the customers, which is self-explanatory. Uh, to finish it off for the art, uh, art has a vision statement and uh, it gives all of the team a direction and a motivation uh, towards which the solution would be built up. Speaking about the solution train, uh, solution train is basically uh, for very large and complex uh, solutions which require coordination amongst uh, multiple arts. So you can consider that a solution train would consist of multiple arts coexisting and uh, at the end of the uh, whole PI, their uh, increment would be integrated to build a complex solution which either uh, has to be integrated or it works in such a manner that uh, the complete solution has to work in tandem with each and every uh, piece which has been uh, an outcome of these uh, art. Uh, the level of products which are being built out of the solution train can be of the scale of uh, a medical device which is going to be built up, maybe a commercial air, uh, airline, uh, a commercial aircraft. Um, it can be a defense system, it can be an automobile. So you can imagine uh, the level of uh, complexity that would be there as an outcome once these products are being, one, while these products are being built. Uh, behind the scenes for a solution train, different arts which are coming together to form the solution train are the ones which are powering this uh, train. So multiple arts come together 
and uh, their outcome or their increment is uh, integrated and hence the solution would be formed in terms of roles uh, similar to what we have in art we have a solution train engineer uh, who is uh, RTE but at the solution level um, something like uh, product management we have solution management as well which again cascades that vision at the solution level to the arts uh, to, to, to help them to understand what needs to be built by individual arts uh, next is the solution architect or solution uh, engineering teams uh, which again communicates the uh, level of architecture that we want to build uh, the level of best practices the standards that we want to set for the for the whole solution so that's all about the solutions last part as a difference between arts and solution uh, would be the events but before we go to the art let's go one level down which is the team uh, at the team level we have our daily stand-ups the iteration reviews uh, the backlog uh, refinement, the iteration retros, uh, iteration planning. When we move a notch higher, which is the agile release train, uh, similar to what we have at the team level, we uh, we have at the art level as well. So we have art sync up, which uh, has two parts in turn, uh, wherein uh, uh, we have scrum of scrums, wherein all scrum masters meet and share uh, the blockers, the impediments across the arts, if, they, if there are any dependencies or any uh, challenges. Uh, they also have PO sync up wherein uh, different uh, product owners would come together and uh, sync up with each other to understand uh, the level of complexities and the dependencies across the uh, the arts which is there and uh, the expectations would be set and uh, product owners would then uh, go on and build the backlog as per that uh, sync up. Then they would have a system demo uh, which is as the name says, it's a demo of the system once it is built or while it's being built. Uh, we have inspect and adapt, which is like uh, retro, but at the art level. Uh, final, a very uh, important event, which is the heart of the safe, um, which is PI planning, wherein the whole PI is being planned and uh, the vision is being uh, shared across the arts, uh, which team would be building what uh, at the end of the PI. So that's about PI planning. Speaking at the solution level, similar to art, we have our solution uh, train sync up, uh, wherein architects sync up solution demo also happens, similar to what we have at the art level, which was the system demo, if you recall. Then we have inspect and adapt, again, a level higher uh, of a retro, but at the solution level. Then we have pre and post PI planning, wherein uh, we decide uh, and share what should be done at the PI level. So that's pre, once the PI planning is done, uh, if there are any uh, changes to our plan or whatever is uh, the outcome of the PI planning that happened at the art level, we again consider that as a uh, discussion in the post PI planning at the solution level. So that's all about the events. Hello everyone. So this week's question is, what is the difference between solution train and art or release train? So first of all, let's see uh, what is an art. So art is an agile release train uh, in which is a team of several agile teams working towards a common goal. So uh, arts are crucial for delivering value at enterprise level. Art is a long leave team of agile, uh, agile teams uh, that are cross-functional across, uh, across an organization and include all the capabilities or all the expertise in, uh, required or needed to define, implement, test, deploy, release, and operate solution. So uh, basically, uh, uh, agile release train is uh, is a kind of a train which has uh, several coaches. Uh, like uh, uh, the recommended is five to twelve coaches, which is known as an agile team. Basically, five to twelve agile teams. So in art, we can have five to 12 agile teams uh, and uh, we have an RTE, which is a release train engineer, uh, which is responsible uh, to facilitate the art events. RTE is responsible for ensuring overall transparency, overall alignment related to complete agile release trains. Uh, train. RTE is servant leader or chief, uh, chief servant leader. So basically, RT is in, uh, is like uh, is responsible for ensuring system view. 
now let's see uh, let's see what is solution train so uh, a solution train occurs when two or more rtc uh, when two or more arts that is agile release trains join together to create solution that are larger and more complex so uh, basically um, a solution train consists of um, one or more arts that is uh, agile release train so like in agile release train uh, a release train engineer was responsible and in a solution train a uh, solution train engineer manages and supports a solution train so ste ensures that this joint system works effectively solution train uh, coordinate the work of several arts and synchronizes the delivery of that work to deliver a solution to a customer or end user or a stakeholder so uh, uh, like solution train and uh, agile release train follow a same principle uh, same principle so they both operate on on the same principle so uh, the principle uh, that art operate is fixed schedule sprint schedule like the sprint should be of two weeks synchronization agile teams working estimation of uh, pi pi planning innovation and planning inspect and adapt and release on demand so uh, basically in art uh, we have different different roles like release train engineer scrum master business owner product owner product manage, manager and in solution train uh, we have roles like uh, solution train engineer solution management solution architect so uh, now let's see what are the differences between solution train and uh, art agile release train so uh, solution train and uh, agile release train have their different area of focus like in solution train area uh, focus uh, it focuses more on infrastructure and procurement needs while uh, art focus more on uh, creating an increment or we can say uh, emphasis on the immediate operation of arts uh, ste function at a higher level within the company of uh, company and uh, like both art and solution train facilitate uh, facilitate the art but ste function at a higher level within the company as compared to art ste seeks to deliver them at uh, they deliver them all at the once or in larger sorry segment but release train engineers looks to deliver solution in increments so now let's consider an example so like if we take an example of uh, autonomous car so uh, to uh, create one successful car we have to uh, like it should assemble hardware software firmware etc but uh, so if we consider an art so arts are responsible for creating like suppose hardware art is responsible for creating the hardware software art is responsible for creating the software firmware art is responsible for creating the firmware and they like basically they uh, they produce working feature or working product uh, of their own uh, own uh, own technologies but solution train is the one that coordinates the hardware software and firmware arts as an integrated product or solution and this complete integrated product which is like the uh, integrated product which is having a hardware software and a firmware or a firmware is a single is integrated as a single unit and delivered to a client uh, a client for their use this uh, basically generates a uh, revenue a revenue and which is useful for client thank you hello everyone uh, i'll be covering the question which is difference between solution train and agile release train um, let's start with scrum teams we know that that deliver features on the user stories uh, but as the team size grows uh, to deliver multiple features to the business then we need art so what is this art uh, agile release train that's a smaller construct that focus on delivering a set of features or capabilities within the solution train that normally uh, compose of 5 to 12 teams and uh, size uh, used to have 50 to 125 members uh, in development team 
and uh, they together to deliver a set of features during a fixed time. So what is a fixed time is PI, uh, program increment. Uh, used to have uh, one quarter in uh, one program increment. So they're supposed to deliver uh, the features in one program increment. So let's see one example, in, which is on banking system. <laughs> uh, for example, uh, a banking system has to keep updated, you know, uh, their all applications and the one application they have online uh, loan application system and they have to add multiple features into that uh, after a certain time uh, time period of time and they are decided because the, the size of features are so huge so they are decided to pick one ERT they are supposed to work on online loan application so they can incorporate all those new features uh, maybe not in one PI, but a few of them at least they can pick it up in one PI. So this is one example of banking and we'll take it further into the solution train as well. Now, let's go to the solution train. So what is the solution train? So this is a higher level construct and that align multiple agile release train. So means agile release train is uh, composed of multiple agile teams. Solution train is construct of multiple agile release train. In terms of number, we can consider five to 12 ARTs uh, in one solution train that used to be considered. And uh, the size, again, based on that, you can consider that if one ART size varies from 50 to uh, 120, so you can consider that five teams or 12 teams, what would be the total size of that solution train. Now we'll come to the example train. Now we'll come to the example. Uh, let's take again the banking platform. So earlier we had taken that all the new features under loan application will be covering up in one ART. Now we also have a different ART into solution train and what those ARTs including like uh, account creation additional features. So that will be covered in one ART. Fund transfer additional features. That will be covered in another ART. Bill payment additional add-ons obviously will be covered by another ART. So this way, <clears throat> they are different ARTs who collectively working and what they are doing, they're collectively delivering to the business one common value which comes under online banking platform. So what is, what is the common goal to the business is online banking platform add-ons and the features they're supposed to deliver. Under that solution, which is online banking platform enhancement, they have divided multiple ARTs. So they have divided one AIT again for account creation, one for uh, fund transfer, bill payments, customer support, and same for the loan applications. So that is something a hierarchy set up from solution train to agile release train. Uh, thank you. And any more question, make, uh, you can feel free to ping on this WhatsApp group. Have a nice rest of the day. The question is what is the difference between an agile release train and a solution train to start with agile release train is basically a set of agile teams or agile team of teams coordinating their efforts and synchronizing delivery of working software products or features to a customer or an end user it is basically where the work happens now what is a solution train solution train is a collection of various agile release train the solution train coordinates the work of Agile release train and synchronizes the delivery of that work to deliver a solution to a customer, end user or a stakeholder. I will demonstrate it with an example. Consider an organization. So the organization acts as a solution train and, uh, the, and, and a solution train is a combination of various Agile release trains. So to work for an organization we have various uh, Agile release trains, say the HR department say that uh, project team department so if so these are these uh, various agile agile release train 
uh, inside the agile release train inside the hr department there are various agile teams which are working together and they are and they are providing their support to the organization for an organization to function similarly take an example of a setup box a setup box is a solution train it it consists of various uh, agile release train now what is an agile release train in a setup box it has various hardware it consists of various software and firmware and all together combinedly will produce a result that is called an agile release train so in the setup box example the solution train coordinates with all the three to produce a working train uh, the all the three means software firmware hardware so this is uh, basically what i understood from the difference between an agile release train and a solution train one more example between solution train and agile release train is consider the carrier stock channel carrier stock channel is a solution train and we all the participants are uh, mm, forming the agile release train for example sunand is uh, the solution train here and all the participants like me neha then uh, we have uh, Amit, uh, Sindhu, all we together form it as an agile release train. We contribute and uh, as an agile release train, and Sun Sunan coordinates it with all of us to produce a working example, and he will upload it in the channel for an end user. So this is what I believe is also an example between an agile release train and a solution train. Thank you.